Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Madden Game Man. And today, guys, today we got some exciting updates. And this one we got here what's currently happening with NFL 2K24. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm excited and a little like I wonder what's going on because I've never I never played the the nfl 2k games i don't know i i just i've never i've never played them i only played the madden uh ones excuse me let me make sure i can see i've only played the madden ones so i don't know how good i had heard a lot of good things about the two uh was it 2k5 and how um in depth their franchise well yeah but their franchise mode was and everything like that i i've heard i've heard a lot of good things about the 2k the nfl 2k franchise as a whole but i've never played it personally but can't wait to see what's going on with this but before i hop into his reaction and before i say my normal thing i would like to let you guys know that if you hear a fan in the background just 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 try to cancel that out hopefully it doesn't pick up on my mic got gotta have a fan today before i hop into his reaction i need you guys to like this video up right now if you want more reactions just like this one like NFL 2K, NFL, uh, NFL Madden, Madden, Maximum Football, uh, it's some more football games. All, all the football games that's coming out this year or next year, all you gotta do is run them likes up for your boy, and I'm gonna be dropping reactions to them. Without further ado, though, let's jump right into it. Ooh, going let's see what's going on. NFL 2K arcade game that we've been waiting three years for. I've been getting a lot of comments more and more each day with people. We've been waiting three years for this? With this upcoming 2K game. We've been waiting for a while. It's been delayed a bunch of times. Is it even still coming out and what can we expect? So I'm going to break down everything that we know so far, but also talk about some of the rumors i've been hearing lately as it pertains to this game and if you're new to the channel and never want to miss out on any of the upcoming sorry about the audio game or other football games make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss these important videos when they drop we're so close to 500k subscribers if everybody watching just subscribe we could hit that today Ooh, like, go ahead and subscribe to to him man this dude this dude brings the news like no other with the nfl but only to make arcade games as ea sports does still have the simulation exclusive license for the nfl but along the way we started hearing more and more reports coming out of 2k that they were going to try to make the game as simulation as possible which probably still wouldn't be too close to simulation because they just simply aren't allowed to do that but if they could try to toe the line as best as possible that would interest more football fans because let's face it more football fans are going to be more interested in a simulation game versus an arcade game arcade is yeah 100 percent kids but if you can toe that line and and also like casual players not like really hardcore players similar to how super mega baseball is it's an arcade baseball game but this game looks so fun i still never played this game but it looks so much fun and i'm not a baseball fan so i think i really really would like this an alternative to mlb the show now this game was said to be coming out in 2022 and then it got pushed back and and what they said was there's a lot going into the game and they want it to be done the right way. And if that means developing it over a longer period of time, then that's what they were willing to do. Are you a new AT&T customer looking to upgrade your phone? Your trust locked into your contract for three years. And they said, despite being arcade, it's still going to be a true football game that comes with the depth that you would expect from 2K games. And no matter how you feel about modern 2K games like NBA 2K with its microtransactions and some of the areas that the game is lacking, one thing you can't deny is that it's still probably the deepest sports game out there. The their, franchise mode is incredibly deep. Their franchise mode and face of the franchise, solid for the most part. there's no contest as far as sports games, in my opinion. No matter, like he said, no matter what you guys say about the modern 2Ks, their their modes is coming out called wild boy they blow every other sports game out of the way for some reason seem to think maybe soccer is close but other than that it's not even close interactive has sold a game to 2k before and this right here then was published by two if you guys have not watched this trailer or watch or watch my reaction to this umbrella or anything like this looked fucking awesome playground series absolutely awesome football isn't an actual nfl game it does have the nflp 
license, meaning you're going to see all of the current and even some former NFL players in the game as it shows in the trailer, but you're not going to see NFL teams and stadiums and low stuff like that. is literally a giant. Has the rights to the players, not to the NFL itself. The games that 2K let that sink in for you guys. Have rights to both. They're going to have the real players, but they're also going to have the teams, the logos, the stadiums, and all of that stuff that goes along with the NFL. And it's also been said that 2K wants to put out multiple games with this partnership with the NFL. It's a multi-year NFL partnership. Oh, they were going to be putting out multiple. multiple okay. Some likely being mobile games, which we'll talk about a little more in a minute. Yeah, but mobile. I can see that. First big release. We're still waiting and people are still wondering what's coming. When is it coming? Or is it even coming at all at this point? We do also know that 2K is working on a Lego football game as well. As a part of their Lego okay, series. so I was I right. I, I saw a Lego screenshot from, uh, I think, I don't know if it was a 2K Twitter, but I did see a Lego screenshot and I thought it was this. Main feature things that they're going to be bringing to the market. And some people were kind of worried about that. While Lego sports games have their place out there, this isn't one of the big things that they got into partnership with the NFL to put out. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon and the Everyday Earbuds. I've got my black. Hey, right, let's right skip I'm this for quite a while now. With it being summer, shout out to Raycon. Never had them, but shout out to him. Mike Tyson use them as well. Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash Rayweather to get 15% off of your Raycon purchase. So now that all of that's out the way, what's going on with the first big NFL 2K arcade game? Is it even still coming out this year? Some people are starting to think no, and I'm starting to lean that way as well because we still have not heard a peep about this game. And I haven't heard anything. And seeing as 2K has just officially, as of a day or two ago, started marketing NBA 2K24. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, these covers, I ain't going to lie, 2K always got some nice ass covers, man. The fact that they're already on to NBA 2K. Shout out uh, Kobe, rest in peace to uh, all the passengers that, that passed away that uh, on that day. Well deserved, man. Black Mama forever. have historically always come out before the NBA games. The fact that they are jumping in to the NBA news and they have not said a peep about their NFL game leads me to believe this game isn't coming out because if this game was coming out we probably would have heard something about it over the last few weeks or the last month as Madden info was started to come out that would have been about the time that they would have started promoting this game as well if it was actually set to drop at the start of the NFL season the fact that that didn't happen and they're talking about the NBA game just leads me to believe we're not getting this game this year now they could do a holiday release which is something they wanted to do a couple of years Mm, that's interesting. A holiday release. That's part of the reason they pushed it back. Oh. We know that that's not the only reason they pushed it back because this is about almost two years ago at this point. So if the only reason they pushed it back was because they wanted to wait till the start of the next football season, that is already come and gone. And now we're two football seasons later as this new season's about to start in about a month. So clearly the game just simply hasn't been ready or it would have been out by now. So I don't think they're going to do a holiday release this year if two years ago the NFL was against it. However, maybe some things could have changed within that time. I don't really think they would want to release it right alongside Madden either because it just kind of seems like a little bit of a conflict of interest for the NFL and their partnership with EA. It also just seems like not the right thing to do if you want to get as much attention on this game as possible. You'd want to release it a little bit earlier or maybe a few weeks later once that newness of Madden wears off i'm not really sure what the thought process on the release is but they have been on record saying that they don't mind pushing the release of this game back until 2024 when the last update around this game surfaced so they already said that that was a possibility and it may just be what's gonna happen but something else interesting was kind of brought to my attention recently there was an article on the pc gamer site that's actually a couple years old at this point but they went over kind of what 2k was doing in terms of their fiscal years for 2022 2020 23 and 2024 as they had announced kind of the rollout of the games that they wanted to release over the next few years now they didn't give an entire list of exact games in particular they did talk about some specific games but they also talked about just the types of games they wanted to release like sports games for example and on this website they mentioned that for the year of 2023 slash 2024 there were four mid core sports games that they were going to be releasing ah. that include games like nba 2k 24 or wwe 2k 24 or PGA yeah tour 2k 2020 oh, i forgot they got golf more of a main game these are not kind of like these mid-tier sports games that they're working on the 2k make a lot of damn games i just realized that video. 
But what if no one watches? I forgot all about the golf games. The mid-tier games are things like NBA Playgrounds, WWE Battlegrounds, and now whatever NFL game they're going to be releasing. And on the website, they had a name that said 2K NFL Bobblehead Blitz. Now this, I don't know hmm? if... This is an exact word bobblehead blitz that pc gamer got from 2k or if it's just kind of something they put in there as a placeholder as to what the game could potentially be called or the type of game that it could be but we do know that 2k was intending to do a new battlegrounds game for wwe and a new playgrounds game for nba so it would seem that when you look at those two games that's likely what they would be trying to do with the nfl game because it, it just kind of falls in line with the other arcade sports games that they're already yeah it does that that's why i would think the uh nfl 2k would be like that is exactly what like the uh wwe ones i thought it would be something of a playground type of game because they already have two games in that same style why wouldn't they also yep. want to do that for nfl just to kind of and they look so style. fun too i i haven't played them either but they look so fun we don't know but it just seems like the most likely case but the interesting thing as we talked about earlier in this video is the wild card football game that's coming out later this year which looks like a playground style game and in fact it is a playground style game because it's made by saber interactive who kind of started that series so that's something that is extremely interesting because if 2k was going to put out a game similar to this well saber interactive's already beating them to the punch here even though it doesn't have nfl teams and logos and stuff like that it still has players and it's still going to be a similar concept so it almost makes you wonder this game right here is going to be so fun i can already and tell and they didn't do it or is this a game it's gonna be fun and it's gonna make you rage. It's gonna make you rage and throw your controller at something. And it's gonna break up a lot of friendships. I can already see it. But what it's now leading me to think is that maybe we're gonna get something completely different from that. I think there's a very big possibility that what we get is a mobile game, which I know a lot of people absolutely don't want to hear. But I do think that's a big possibility, and we know that they are working on a number of mobile. I mean, mobile games are fun. I just think it's a bad like. That's where we could see them stigma around mobile games when it comes to based on room like nfl and stuff like that close to simulation is because let's be honest the gaming the the pc and and the playstations and all of them when it comes to mobile they just hate they just don't like them as much as possible i think they probably never played a game but they talk the most crap about it so 10 on 10 as opposed to 11 on 11 or maybe just making the field 10 yards shorter or just changing up a few of the rule sets and then boom it's no longer who is this nfl street i've never played in the first street either how it goes i played bur blitz case in point when you look at you can't play that you can't play that today aren't simulation like the way that abilities and x factors work or other animations that they put in the game but the truth is the simulation definition in terms of a sports game Whoop, spin move oh my goodness There's not this strict rule set of what is simulation and what isn't you can argue that if you have a forward pass in a game that it's simulating football and that's kind of the rumor that i've started to hear more around from people in the industry is that this game is not going to be anything even close to what you could consider simulation because with ea having that exclusive deal in place the nfl has to be really careful about what they allow to happen in this game because if anything comes too close to breaching what they have in place with ea that's gonna cause a lot of legal troubles i do think mm, the game will have a lot that's of true version for an arcade game like i said a super mega baseball level game i think would be very well welcomed but if you think that it's gonna be anything close to nfl 2k5 or all pro football 2k8 it's not and pretty much everything that I've heard from people that I trust say that you're going to probably be really surprised at just how arcade it's going to actually be. It's probably going to be way more arcade than what you initially thought. But again, until 2K themselves puts out info, we really don't know for sure. Rumors are just that. They're rumors. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be more like, like he said, like, like a arcade style, which is, which is fine to me. I, I like, I like the arcade style. Hell, I even played a Madden game on arcade mode, and it was so much fun. It was so... Look, I was scoring like 105 points in a football game. It was just so much fun. I think more people should try it, especially gamers or professional Madden players, as they call themselves. So not, 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 not trying to say nobody's a professional Madden player, but I'm talking about the people that say they are, that grind and this and that. They not... They not. Let's be. They're not. Stop it. But this is gonna be very interesting. I told you guys before. This is a year of gaming. 
we're going to look back at this year of gaming and be like, this was incredible, especially for sports and especially for football. I mean, these, oh my God, just looks incredible. You got maximum football. Of course, you got Madden. You got uh this uh this game that's on your screen right now. Let me move my mouse so y'all can see. This one right here that I got my mouse over looks so much fun. You guys got to check that out. If you have not checked that out already, just just watch the trailer. And you, you ain't even gotta have no sound. Just watch the trailer and you are gonna be like, this is a game I can pick up and play right now. And then we got and then you got the Lego from 2K. Like this is this is a lot. We have not had this many options in a long, long time. A long, long time. This is my first time having this many options. I mean, when 2K and the other ones was out, I was I was very young. So I didn't really I wasn't really into those type of games. All I played was Madden. That's all I knew was Madden. So all these different games coming out, just incredible, man. Cannot wait to play to play uh some of these games. That's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. Love racing, one, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.